All right, so I'm standing here by my dresser and I need to clear it off. Over here are some more posters and then my records are down here. And I actually organized those the other day and I got some labels for them, like to organize them by genre. So maybe I'll go through this sometime and like be like, these are the cool records that I have. Um, it's kind of just a random collection of ones I found like from like used bookstores and ones I bought new online. Um, I have my humidifier, which really helps because I have really dry eyes and my skin will dry out. And then I have my dresser over here, which works like as a little book stand too. Um, with, I have some stuff on it, so I'm gonna go through that stuff though, because I kind of might need to move it in order to fit all fit in my room. The first thing you might notice is this lion statue, which I bought from some woman off of Craigslist, and it has like these razor fangs, and it has this really long tail, and I'm gonna put it on my new desk once I get it. Um, yeah, I also have these candles, which smell good, but like I said, I always forget to light them. And these NASCAR matches. I don't know why they have NASCAR in them. I have my Polaroid camera here. Um, I have a bunch of film for this, but I always forget to take it because it's like, how do you remember to take this? And then the film is like a lot, so I don't really buy it that often but it takes really cool pictures. You know, when you actually do it, it's just, I never actually take pictures on it, so. Okay, I use this bottle of water to water my plants when I remember to do it. It's really low right now, so that's why I never water my plants because I always forget to refill this bottle of water up. So then it just, they never get watered and I have really bad luck with plants because they always, don't last in my room. I don't know if my room has some type of plant, plant something in it that rejects all plants who try to survive here, but I keep buying them and they keep dying. So I think it must just be the room because I mean, I'm watering them. What more can they ask for? Okay. Well, when I was a kid, of course I played Pokemon when I was like really little. And, but I didn't really know how to play the Pokemon card game. There were like cards that were like the video game, but they were like, like Pikachu, he can do lightning bolts or something like that. And so I would really just sort them. And I was like, okay, these are all the green Pokemon. These are all the Pokemon that fire with them. And this was in the box and we were gonna give it away, but look how cute this thing is. It's like a little, it's missing its tail, I think, but it's like one of those like wind up toys. You wind it up. I mean, that is a little chunky little Pokemon. Cute. I have the snap band. It says, be buddies, not bullies. A great reminder to not bully people. I got this little tiny baby pinata. Doesn't have any candy in it, but it's really cutie. And mostly what I have loved is all my books. Now, the thing is a lot of these books I haven't actually read. Okay, so I'll like go to the store and I'll buy books. But you know, the cover looks cool or whatever, but it's so much easier to read on my Kindle than like look around this, like look at this one. The Goldfinch. I watched this movie and I was like, you know what? I should read the book. And you know, I got the book, whatever. But look how thick this book is. I mean, this is like 800 pages long almost. And it's really heavy. It's so hefty, like, I'm supposed to lug that around in my backpack? I don't think so. Um, let's see, The Revenant. 
That's the movie that Leo won his Oscar for finally. Flip, this is so good. It's like these two kids and it tells both of their perspectives. Like, it's like chapters from both their different ways. I got that from Scholastic Book Fair, apparently. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. This is really good. The movie is super sad, so if you don't want a super sad movie, don't watch this movie, but if you want a really good super sad movie, watch this movie. The Invisible Boy, this is like from when I was a kid. It like has some drawings in it. I don't really remember it, but I guess I remember liking it. Because people have it. Yeah, I keep my laptop here, you know, displayed like a book because it's a math book. Get it? This is a book by J.D. Salinger, the guy who wrote The Catcher in the Rye. Um, I haven't read this one, but this is another book he wrote. The Westing Game, I loved mysteries when I was a kid. Like, I was obsessed with them. Mystery movies and mystery books, and so it's pretty much all I read and watched. And this is like one of the best. Like, it still works as well. Greta Thunberg's book, No One Is Too Small to Make a Difference, so true Greta. Because I'm in Dixie, this is another sad one from when I was a kid. I don't know why they made all these books really sad when we were children. Star Wars bookmark, I mean, that's cool. Oh, another mystery, Peeled. I remember reading this over and over again. I like read this from the library and then I was like, I need to own it. So I asked for it for my birthday one year. Is it like a, I don't think it's a, like a, it's a mystery of some sort. When you reach me, this one is kind of like if you read A Wrinkle in Time, then you're gonna wanna read this book because it like uses a lot of elements. Cause I read this before I read A Wrinkle in Time and I was so confused by it. And I read A Wrinkle in Time and I was like, oh, that makes so much sense because they talk about like A Wrinkle in Time in that book all the time. I have these little sun bookends. Hold my books together. Let's see, J.D. Salinger, another J.D. Salinger book that I haven't read. An inspirational book, Discover Your Possibilities. Robert Schuller, positive inspiration guidelines that will enrich your life as you reach for your highest potential. That's just a good book for anyone to read. Um, think and Grow Rich. Mm, not so sure. I think this book could be worth a million dollars to you. How about we redistribute the wealth? Okay. The novelization of Star Wars. Oh, the novelization of the first Mission Impossible movie. Oh, Catcher in the Rye, okay. This is the one J.D. Salinger book I actually have read. This is so, so good. Read this. Oh, got this stack here. Oh, here's a whole nother stack of books, great. New Lives. We're at this bookstore in Chicago called Pal's Books. It's this really famous one in Hyde Park. And it's this used bookstore. It's huge it's just crammed floor to ceiling with books and i always wanted to go there and when we visited chicago we went and i got this book because this cover was so cool and um i started reading on the plane back from chicago apparently i got 82 pages into it i don't think i, I think that bookmark's in the wrong place because i don't remember reading all that oh a meal and the detective this is like some german book that they translate to english this is for kids too and this is so good because I was like, I could be a kid detective too, just like Emil and his gang of detectives. Um, this is a copy of This Side of Paradise. I got this from a used bookstore. It's another F. Scott Fitzgerald book, the guy who wrote The Great Gatsby. And I've never read this one. Oh, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. If you guys haven't read this, I could probably use this in my life actually because I need to do some tidying up, so maybe I need to reread this, but love Marie Kondo. The Right Three, another mystery when I was a kid. It's like an architecture mystery. I, when I was reading those, I was like, I'm gonna be an architect and be like a famous mystery solver. That's not happening. Ernest Hemingway, it's a book called Antarctica. I don't even know what this is. Journey to the North Pole, never read it. Um, oh, 
this book A Little History of the World. Yeah. Kind of thick for being a little history. So that's pretty much all I have on my dresser. So I guess now that that's, well, not really cleared off, but I need to try to move some stuff and figure out where I'm gonna put this desk in my room. Cause I still don't know.